What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football. And the video I put out earlier this week was my top 10 cold weather essentials. This video, I'm gonna be giving you guys different life hacks and ways you can use those essentials and make them better for your game. So today I'm gonna to be giving you guys nine, where's nine? Nine different life hacks you can do with your football equipment to help improve your situation in those cold weather. All right, so tip number one is gonna be a really simple one. All you have to do, because I know when there's a lot of cold wind, just with your helmet, tape your ear holes. Now, some people do it wrong. They put tape on it from the outside of it. That comes off really easily. What I like to do is I like to tape it from the inside of it, and then I'll put a thin piece of tape over the outside. That way they stick to each other so it's not gonna peel off. So taping your ear holes makes actually a really big difference. It helps keep your head heat inside your helmet, which is actually really helpful. Okay, now in my last video, I talked about the use of toe warmers. In this video, I actually have three different ways you can use toe warmers to improve your game. So here I pulled out a pack of toe warmers. Uh, they're already starting to get hot because I took them out of their package. So the first way you're supposed to use them is obviously on your toes. Now, one thing you might wanna do for your toes, instead of putting them on the outside layer, if you wanna layer up a couple layers of socks, put a thin layer of socks on the inside, something, you know, thin, like this, or maybe even something thinner. Then you put the toe warmer and that allows it to get really close to your foot. And then you put another layer of socks over top and that allows it so it's not gonna fall off at any point and it's as close to your foot as possible. Now the next one is if you're using a hand warmer, don't buy the heat packs that are those little, um, little like bags or whatever, you know, the ones that you shake up and then they kind of go inside. The problem with those putting them inside your hand warmer is they can rattle around and sometimes fall out. But these toe warmers, they have an adhesive back to them. So all you do is you just take the toe warmers, peel the adhesive back off, stick them on the inside of your hand warmer, and that way they're not gonna come out, they're gonna stay inside. You can put them at different strategic points where you usually put your hands, and that works a lot better and saves more space inside your hand warmer than using just traditional heat packs. Now the third one to use for the heat packs, uh, you might not be able to do this at a receiver or DB or whatever, but it does work really well at linemen. If you're just blocking stuff, what you can do is take one of these heat packs. I have small hands, but you know, bigger hands will definitely be better. Like I said, because they have an adhesive back, just stick them to the inside of your hand on your palm. You can still move your hand completely. It doesn't restrict any of your movement. And now your hands are gonna stay nice and toasty warm. Again, the key with these is the perfect size for your palm or your foot, but also with that adhesive back, it'll stick anywhere you want it to. So put them on the inside of, you know, sleeves of a jacket, your hands on the inside, hand warmers, all that kind of stuff. Now the next one is going to be buy a size up for your pants and hoodies. Now, the reason I'm saying buy a size up is that way in practice, you can put a pan, your sweatpants. So I have my Lyman football sweatpants here that I got for Christmas before. They're a size up. That way they fit really well over top of, you know, your knee pads, shin pads, shin pads, what? Knee pads, thigh pads, um, shoulder pads, all that kind of stuff. So definitely go a size up in them. Use them just for football and it's fantastic to have. The next one is going to be a common mistake I see and it's one that I did a long time ago and it really backfired. So like I was talking about, don't take those heat warmer packs, the ones that are um, not the toe warmer, just like the heat ones and stick them in the inside of your shoe. I did that where I shoved them all the way to the toe inside of my shoe. They're in there. I thought it was gonna help keep my toes warm. What it actually did, if this is the heat pack and my foot was here, because of the movement while I was running, it jammed my toes in front of it here and it actually started to lift one of the nails up off my toes throughout the game incredibly painful and I never had time to switch it. It hurts so, so much. So make sure not to do that. Again, use toe warmers for everything. Now the next one is going to do with wearing one of the other cold weather essentials I had here, which is going to be your balaclava. Now sometimes the reason people don't like wearing balaclavas is because if they have a string attached to their mouth guard so it stays on their face mask, that's so they don't lose their mouth guard. What you can do instead, cut that string off, put the mouth guard inside your mouth, then put the mouth flap over top and that way that mouth guard is never gonna fall out by accident, holds onto it, keeps your face warm, does everything. So cut that string off, get it nice and flat, put it in, solves all your issues. Now the last one ties into the hoodies and the sweatpants. So the key with dealing with cold weather situations is proper layering. So I know based on the cold weather situations, my base layer is going to be a cold gear. 
Okay, I always do that cold gear because I know I'll need that. Then over top of the cold gear, I'll put maybe a couple thin layers. That allows me to strip off strategic small thin layers at a time as I start to warm up. And that allows me to get my temperature perfect. If you put the thin layers underneath, then put the cold gear on top, you're gonna take off that cold gear, then you're gonna be freezing. So put your thickest layers on the bottom, your thinnest on the top, and that'll allow you to find that perfect range of where you're at a perfect, comfortable temperature. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, as always, if you liked the video, hit that like button. That way I know what kind of content you guys want to see. If you have any questions about anything I talked about today, leave them down below. I answer comments for the first couple days. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks.